Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of game 2 of this round of 32 clash between Zerpils and his Skaven and Ratamo and his Imperial Nobility. Zerpils won the first game, uh, he actually won 4-0 but that doesn't matter, the scorelines don't matter, just the results. He's 1-0 up. Uh, they've actually both got unpainted teams so as punishment they will be shown as red and blue. Absolutely outrageous that they didn't bother to select special colours for their teams. Shame on both of them. Um, I can tell you that Zerpils is a German living in Austria. He qualified on the PlayStation with the B&T Road to the World Championship. Ratamo is finished and qualified on the PC with RPS Divisions of Death. Uh, Zerpils is the group winner in this match. Ratamo squeaked through with Imperial Nobility somehow. <laughs> So let's see what happens. Kick it. Oh, and uh, Zerpel's won the toss, chose to receive. He's got a non standard team, he's got the sprint rather than sidestep. And he likes to remove players. There we go. And the skill he's given up is the Storm Vermin skill. I like giving up the Storm Vermin skill. But on the other hand, you know, you can randomly bang people out with Mighty Blow, can't you? But, yeah. I don't like the uh, sprint. I mean, I prefer sidestep to sprint. Meanwhile, Ratamo has a very non-standard team with a Mighty Blow and a Tackler rather than two Dodgers. Uh, four guards, a sure hands, and a dirty player that's on the bench. Along with a dirty player that was on the LOS. I mean, you can you can bang out anybody with nothing, but Mighty Blow really helps, doesn't it? Like, like Skaven just getting a free win from smashing people to bits is pretty good, isn't it? He's uh, saving the rover as a secret weapon and hoping Ratnamo forgets that he's got Juggernaut. Yeah, that's Mr. Page, yeah. I mean, Mighty Blow is definitely decreasing returns, isn't it? If you give, if you give Mighty Blow to one player, they're going to make about 16 blocks. And uh, there you go. Gets the pow. Gets the Kaz. Easy. Who needs Mighty Blow? That's the guarder anyway. <laughs> That's the dirty player dealt with. Uh oh. He's gonna cast his own lineman. Nope, only a KO. Brilliant. Best big guy in the game. And then he's going to push him into a Mighty Blow player. Ah, oh, no, no, of course not. He gets the second hit away. Gets the stun. And unfortunately, the guard is blocked by the Mighty Blow, isn't it? Yeah, it's not looking good for Ratamo. Gets him knocked down, but no Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow wouldn't have done anything anyway. This is fine. Starts with a blockless block. <laughs> Another removal. Oh god. <laughs> Another blockless block. Makes him use a reroll. <laughs> oh 
Goku makes a stun. Oh my god, this is brutal. He did bring he did bring knobs to a blood bowl fight. <laughs> Which, yep, yeah. Look, the for the the fen really stops so much. What a what a skill. What a skill, guys. Yep, this is looking pretty rubbish for Ratamol. I mean, not not game losing yet, but like drive losing, right? It, it's looking drive losing enough. Yeah, no fair play to him for taking something different, you know, but... And, you know, it's good that the rules pack was such that some people thought they were a good pick. Um, you know, maybe they are, right? Maybe Jay Lee will win it all with all of the Lions. Maybe maybe Ratamo will win this game. Or Andre will beat Bright and, uh, you know, have a, Nobs will have a great run. But uh, it's not looking like it, is it? <laughs> No, no, he's just diverting everybody to fight the rogue. Gets the power. Gets the knockdown. Mighty blow. Gets the KO because of Mighty Blow, and then Zerples uses the Apple to keep him in the match. Four. <laughs> yes, Mary. <Marine>. Yeah. <laughs> OWA not only won their first, they won the first game, didn't they? They were efficient at getting their game played as well. Amazing. Um, hard to say, honestly, for Fiburio, because they did win one, lose two in the groups, which just bizarrely made them qualified because of the way it worked out. Uh, but most people wouldn't have qualified with one win and two losses. So they didn't do great in the groups. And then uh, they did, however, beat Olivier Dulac in the... Uh, first round 32 match and then lost the second one and it was very close so whereas knobs qualified through the knob group <laughs> and then they got another one through the other group so who knows no oh, well gets a removal Looks a little bit better now for Ratamo somehow. Cheeky three plus, he made two removals. He's only taken four, which isn't that bad. <laughs> like it's pretty terrible obviously, but. Oh, there's the gate dodge, but it is a one in 36. Doesn't fail it. Outrageous. Doesn't fail that one in 36 either. Man, these people who just don't fail dodges. Outrageous. Wish it was me. So we've got the dodge rush. Wrestle hit. Shame about the blizzard, but... He's got a chance, hasn't he? 3-3 three, three for 2D. Gotta take it. Makes them both. Wrestles in. Oh wow, we can even put tackle zones on it. It's so hard to try to pick it up, is the problem. It doesn't have dodges at all. But I mean, wouldn't have thought that was that would have happened after the first few turns. Oh man, he's got a rush to get into range and he gets into range. Lovely. Did he just 
blitz with a roger to make it work. He does, yeah. Gets a Kaz. When I say make it work, I mean like, you know, to activate Juggernaut. It's basically guaranteed clearing the squares. Makes the pick up, makes the handoff, makes the score, but good effort. Good effort by Ratnamo there, you know. Best big guy confirmed. But oof, three players gone. Including the sure hands. That was a that was a tragic Kaz just then, wasn't it? He's definitely not gonna one turn here, so just punch things, hope for the best. Uh Ratamo yeah, he hasn't used it. Maybe they're all serious injuries? Badly hurt, yeah, he should have definitely uphold that. A million percent should have uphold that. Maybe he misclicked. I've misclicked before using the apple. It's the only thing that makes any sense, doesn't it? Right, so Zerpel's 1-0 up and one game up means Ratamo has to score two touchdowns this half to win the game and keep himself alive, get to a third match. It's stupid, it's so stupid, Kadefra. The funny thing is they did in the original rules for them um, that was in like the Citadel Journal or whatever. They actually had you know they were like well equipped they fitted the fluff that they made they made for them of like them being rich nobles and they decided to sack that off and just make them rubbish bretonian impersonators no idea why Yeah, add four plus an alignment. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense that the richest human blood ball teams have worse human players than the poorest human teams. It's stupid, isn't it? Premier League teams don't have worse, worse like like you know <laughs> reserves than second division teams, do they? Doesn't make any sense. It actively angers me how anti-fluff they are. It makes sense for, like, Bretonians, you know, having the peasants that they don't care about. They're spoiled and pampered. That means they can't pick up footballs or dodge. It just doesn't make any sense. They should just be better than humans. <laughs> I know they were overpowered. I know the old ones are overpowered, yes. The old, the old ones were ridiculous. But still... Um, yeah, they're just the richest teams. They're just literally the richest teams. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, the two augers is pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to get a rover on the ball. Oh, no, we're not. Interesting. It's normal to stick a rover on the ball, isn't it? And now he sticks a sprinter on the ball rather than a sidestepper. Hmm. 
Oh wow, he's, I mean he's got to do this. This is this is good play, right? It looks rubbish play, obviously, but it's good play because he has to score too. So I like that from Ratamo. <laughs> in a normal game, that would have been appalling, but in this game that he has to win, he had to bang it in, and now he can go on defence and he's got a chance at the two-one win. I mean, you say no choice, Calcium, but in the group stage. We saw people who had no choice and they still were too timid and you know they, they tried to play kind of properly and it cost them so yeah well done Ratnamo uh, making the correct decision even though it, it's not an easy one. I mean it should be easy because it's the only thing you, you can do to win but still. Oh you have to tackle it, yeah yeah tackle a stun thanks. <laughs> deluded number. Oh wow! The uh, rat ogre, best big guy in the game. Suddenly, there's a chance for the knobs. There is actually a chance for the knobs. Instant blitz. Love to see it. Wrestle on wrestle. I'd definitely scatter here and see what happens. Try and get lucky, right? I mean, it's, he's got loan, hasn't he? So it's uh, it's not an easy reroll. Oh, you mean the blitz? Nah, I would, I'd just got it. That is a roger on the floor. Yes. Oh. The Roger dub scold. I was thinking you reroll the Roger, but the problem with the Roger is it's alone. That 2D blitz, I, I would have taken the push, but I would have scattered it. Like there wasn't the recovery, right? Like if, if this if this tackler was a blodger and standing, then I would have re-rolled a hit. But the fact that he had no recovery meant that it wasn't very exciting to re-roll it. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic, Calcium. I've never I've never thought of it before, but now that you say it, honestly. <laughs> We can all call Dimmy a knobber and he can't even complain. <laughs> Dimmy being the foremost, the world's foremost authority on Imperial ability, you could call him an absolute knobber. <laughs> this would have been an interesting drive, yeah, if he had 11 players. I mean, he's got lots of reserves, so he's still got nine, I think. No, eight. No, he's only got he only had twelve players, yeah, okay, no, it's still yeah, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> oh. And yeah, that guy surfed. That's one less. For Ratamo. <laughs> the poor unfortunate knobber. <laughs> the cars. It does have the feeling of too little too late, but no, nope, there's another removal. <laughs> this is just so that you know the uh, the game looks like it was fair now on the stats sheet. It's just it's just too little too late, isn't it? That's the problem. Seven players on the pitch. Yeah, he probably should have tried the six plus dodge just to uh, just to surf the roger. Hmm. 
Yeah, unfortunately for Rattamo, it's turn 14, so... He ain't really got two more turns like that in him. Oh, double one! Oh, hello. Okay, turn 15. I guess you want this guy in as a scoring threat, right? Just get him in. Yeah, the pass. I mean, it was it was a two plus pass. He double wand it. You can two D him, and then you can get guard in, and you can two D blitz, pick it up, and come back to here or something. Tag him. This isn't terrible. I think he had to he had to stand up first, right, to be tagging the roger. In case he fails to pick up. I mean I guess if he fails to pick up he loses. Have to stand him up to tag the roger. And he also had to move him into scoring range. So you know, slight misordering here, right? This guy had to be in range first. And this guy had to stand up first, but he got them there eventually. Kind of wild that Ratamo put this guy in here instead of coming back to blitz the one scoring threat. He just wants to strip it. Gets the full power. And kills him. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, you can, you can, you can figure the misordering, you know. At this point in game, you know, he's been down loads of players for the whole game. He's probably at the end of his tether, like, you know, 50 seconds left in his time bank. Um, but, you know, just for people watching at home, you know, that would have been just absolutely correct turn ordering, wouldn't it? Okay, gets to push him out of the way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. Ah, oh, no, it's probably better to do the four plus dodge. Gets the, oh my God, nearly got the pick up. And then you would have had to like, long bomb it. It can't long bomb it, it's a blizzard. Oh, maybe he couldn't have done anything there anyway. Well. Yeah, no, he couldn't even throw it in the snow, but at least he tried, um, you know. At least you tried, Ratamo. <laughs> At least you tried. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a bit unlucky, isn't it? What can, what can you say? Uh, he got he got absolutely murdered both games. Um, yeah, and ability aren't a great team, but the uh, Zerpels definitely have the dice both games. Absolutely smashed into pieces both games. Um, but there you go. At the end of the day, Zerpels got the job done. So, commiserations, Ratamo, congratulations, Zerpils. He wins the tie and advances to the round of 16, where he will play the winner of Bright versus Andri. So, he, if he's very lucky, he'll get to face Imperial Nobility again. Otherwise, he'll be facing Necromantic. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.